Hello everybody, E here. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing a comic book review. Um, in fact, my friend Jen Bernardini recently did a, uh, a graphic novel review. I'll put that up here, somewhere up there, eye in the sky. Um, this is Sisters of Sorrow. I finished this last week. Um, I didn't like it, like at all. Uh, I th This is also by Kurt Sutter. Um, actually, he's the creator. Uh, writers and everything is down here. It's uh, Courtney Alameda, uh, name I cannot, Hyunjin Kim, and Jean-Paul Suska, uh, Suka, something like that. Um, sorry, if you're watching this and I screwed up your name, that's going to be the least of your worries. Um, so this, I, I figured with Kurt Sutter's name on it, I don't know if he lost a bet or what, um, I figured... With Kurt Sutter's name on it, how could you go wrong? I mean, dude did Sons of Anarchy, and it's a terrific, uh, terrific show. If you haven't watched it, you need to go watch it. Um, I loved it. This is a graphic, well, comic book, graphic novel, what do you want to call it? A reboot of the, like, nuns, nun for revenge, uh, exploitation films. Uh, a very popular genre. Um, just anything that, you know, kind of turns nun behavior on its head, you know, death, murder, uh, sex, all that stuff. But this one is about, uh, five ladies, or four, I think it's four, four or five, I can't even remember, that's how bad this is. I can't even remember the ladies' names. But, um, they, it's very by the book, very by the numbers, paint by numbers, however you want to say it. Um, you know exactly going into each issue who they're going to go after. You know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I even called two of the people how they're going to die. Now, this, that isn't the only problem here. Um, the writing isn't the only problem. By issue three, there are problems with the actual artwork in the comic. Let me show you something. Um, some people have no faces. Uh, let's see, you know, just blink, there's, they, they don't even try. I don't know if you guys can see this, but, um, like, there's one down here. I mean, you get the bare, you get the barest, the barest idea of a face. And then some of the, some of the artworks for the faces that they do get right are just unintentionally funny, and I wish I would have marked them, but I didn't. Um, if you go over to my Instagram and you scroll through my Instagram, I'll leave a link down in the doobly-doo, you're going to see all the hilarious pictures. But then, by issue four, and we're going to get to the reason why all these covers look different, okay? We're going to get to that in, in just a second. But then, by this one, you start finding stuff where there's no background. There's just color, okay? And I know that this sometimes happens um, in comic books, but this entire final fucking issue is like this. Which is blank-ass backgrounds. Like, they got to the final fucking issue and just gave up. <laughs> so... Now, here's another reason why I'm so upset about this. First off, I was looking forward to it. Second, it took them four months to send me my first issue, okay? Then it took them another two months to send me another issue, okay? Now, you notice, these aren't the same types of colors. This is the, this is the variant cover, okay? So you have, number one is the, and then you have the variant, or one of these is the variant, I'm not sure which one, but then number three... I bought this from Boom Studios. I bought the subscription from Boom Studios. Now, I'm, I apologize. I lied to you. They didn't send me this one at all. We're going to get to that in a second. So they took them four months to get me this one, another two months to get me this one. And then they ended up sending me another copy of number three. So I have two number threes, okay? And then I got another black number four. So I get this pink one out of nowhere. This was, I believe, my... No, this one was my first issue. Then I got... Uh, this one, and then I got this one, so I got two number threes, then I got that one. Now, when I contacted them, asked them where the fuck my number one was, they said, oh, you subscribed too late. It is a four-issue run of comics. I paid $19.99. These motherfuckers are only, they're three, $3.99 a piece, okay? I bought what I thought was a full run of comics, because they did the same thing with Victor Laval's Frankenstein. I got six comic books. I got... Four, well, I got five comic books, but only because of an error, because of their stupidity. Um, but, so that means that I would have only gotten, let's take, let's, let's put, I had to go out to my local comic book shop and get this one, okay? I had to, I would have only gotten these three comics for $20. I was buying from Boom Studios because I thought I was getting a discount. I ended up paying more getting it from the actual studio. And I also figured, if anything, 
Boom Studios would get it right because they're a fucking publisher. Anyways, so I'm a little upset about that. Um, now, as far as past experience with this company, um, Victor Laval's Frank Frankenstein was terrific. Okay, um, the artwork, everything was great. But this one seems like they slapped Kurt Sutter's name on it, and then they didn't even care enough to uh, help me out with customer service and send me a back issue or whatever of the first one after I got through paying $19.99 for the subscription. Anyways, so there you have it. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you. It's been another fucking rage review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.